An ancient brick grave was unearthed while foundations were being dug for new classrooms at a primary school in Jatui Commune, No Quan District, in 2020. Scientists found a host of valuable information proving that Jatui was a vibrant cultural area during the first few centuries AD. The brick grave and collected artifacts were moved to the Ninh Binh Museum for storage and display. Over the years, Ninh Binh Museum has selected the most valuable artifacts, reflecting the local land and people to display and introduce to visitors. We also display items thematically, using many archaeological artifacts, and take them to schools and districts for educational purposes. Archaeological research in Ninh Binh began in the 1960s and 1970s. Since then, many types of relics have been discovered, excavated, and explored. Important discoveries at Hoolu ancient capital in recent years have contributed to identifying this as a major site of special significance for Vietnam's history and culture. It is pleasing that Ninh Binh retains vestiges from the Dinh and La dynasties. At many archaeological relics now, artifacts are covered up for preservation, but we display them in a natural way, for example covering them with glass so that visitors can view them from above. Literature on these relics should be concise and translated into foreign languages. 68 archaeological relics have been discovered, providing important historical and scientific data on the formation and natural and social development of Ninh Binh. Conservation work is generally conducted under two main methods, closing the relic with sand fill, which preserves the site as is, or building a roof to protect it, which is known as an on-site museum. The results of archaeological excavations in Ninh Binh in recent times have received attention from scientists and a large number of Vietnamese and foreigners. It also creates opportunities for Ninh Binh to build more cultural and tourism products to meet the growing needs of visitors. The Ninh Binh Department of Culture, Sports and Tourism will continue to mobilize the social resources to invest in the research, conservation and promotion of cultural heritage values in the province. It will also foster digital transformation and run a community archaeology program so that local people can better understand the history of the locality and participate in preservation and promotional efforts. <laughs>